Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Miss Bolton here today with another video for you all of course. So as you can see guys, I'm not in my normal backgrounded video area, aka my bedroom. Um, so I'm actually away this week with my mum and I decided to bring my camera with me and film it all because lots of people have been requesting what I get up to in my day-to-day -day life and I thought I don't want to show you guys myself going to work because that is boring as hell. So I thought, I'll take the opportunity. I'll bring my camera along with me. I'm away with my mum this week. So I thought, I'm going to film it. I'm going to film it for you guys. So we are in Minehead, England. We're nowhere abroad. We just thought we'd get away for a bit, just spend the week in a caravan. Uh, my best friend Tyler will be joining me tomorrow. Um, we will be doing a Q&A, which you guys will all be seeing shortly, um, which will be really, really fun. Um, so I thought, let's do it. Let's make, let's make one of those vlogs. I feel weird though. I feel like one of those like vlogger bitches. You know those like bitches who take their like camera to Starbucks and they're like, oh my god, can I get a coffee frap? Yes. No, I'm not going to be doing any of that, guys, so sorry. So, first things first, can we just appreciate how fucking bomb I look? Hi, it's Miss B. How are we all doing? Yeah, I got my bikini on. I don't know if you guys can see, but... I look sexy as fuck anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's let me show you my caravan guys because it's kind of cute. So this is outside the caravan. Well I stay next to a lake which is super super cute. So yeah, this is our view for the week. It's really refreshing. I really love staying in places like this because it's just like it's really really cute and it's just so nice and you can even see the ducks and the geese but I really love staying in places like this you know we all need to have a break from time to time and we all need to rejuvenate relax and feel refreshed you know especially if we're all working full time so if you have the opportunity to get away and you know you have a friend to go with or even a family member do it go away your mental health is important i'm not going to go in all deep about it but you know you've had the opportunity to go away do it 100 percent. i'm really happy i'm here it is a little bit messy because we literally like drove here for almost two hours and we were like oh we need food so we savaged the place okay so if any of you have sitting in caravans before you'll know how small the beds are so this is my bed <laughs> for five days oh yeah there's my bra there shit that's gonna be so fun i'm gonna really miss having a double bed obviously um my mum's room however is really nice she's got a double bed here's our bathroom i think it's really like small but it's again it's 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 really cute oh hi bitch <laughs> yeah so this is our bathroom it's small but yeah if you've seen in caravans you'll know that's literally the whole caravan it's no fancy five-star hotel it's not in like you know spain or you know anywhere posh like that or abroad it's just somewhere in england really quiet where we can just rejuvenate for a little bit so that's really good as I said, guys, my best friend Tyler will be here tomorrow. We'll be doing a Q&A. I did post a bunch of questions the other day on my Instagram, um, you know, saying that we're going to do a Q&A. If you have any questions, then please ask. Yeah, so see you guys tomorrow, which for you is like in two seconds. So bye. Hey, guys, it's Becky here, obviously. I made a little video yesterday with my bikini on as you can all appreciate i did i did that by the way for you. Mm -hmm. so this is my friend tyler say hello hi. um so he is here with us in minehead and we thought let's make a q a video because it would be really really fun and you were kind of game for it yes i didn't force you to do it did no I? let's no be honest i didn't force happened. That just explain that to my viewers, like cause they, he guys, he's nervous. Okay, he's really nervous. So I don't want you guys to feel like, oh my god, you pressured you to do this. I'm so mean. So I didn't do no, that. No, no, no pressure, no pressure. Okay, so why don't you tell my viewers a little bit about you before we start into any like intense stuff? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gonna have to be edited out. Say that again. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> It's fine! Okay. It's fine. It, I can just edit it. It's fine. 
Okay, so I'm Tyler. Hey. Um, I'm 24, uh, live in Bristol, and I am transgender. Um, I've been transitioning for three and a half years now, and I've just recently had my top surgery. Um, so yeah, that's basically me. So we actually met in work. We met in our old job, which he's mm -hmm. currently still unfortunately at. Oh! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. And um, it was really weird how we met because like we were actually on Tinder. And then I knew <laughs> it was so weird. It's like, I knew him, like, I knew he was trans, but he didn't know I was trans. And then when we kind of like seen each other on Tinder, we were like, what the fuck? Bits, what? <laughs> and then ever since then we like because we worked on the same we worked on the same floor and everything and then yeah, yeah we like found out about each other we were like oh my god like it's so interesting and pretty much been best friends since yeah we've been really close since and yeah, yeah it's been really lovely mm -hmm. getting to know is that a rat <laughs> <laughs> no can you not hear that that was, was that going a, so was well that but can you not can you not hear it's it? It's probably just a sparrow or something. Oh my god. We're gonna start the QA guys. I did actually put a little Instagram story up the other day, which I did explain earlier. Um, just to ask us some questions if you felt like you wanted to ask us anything, especially Tyler being a trans man. If there was anything you wanted to ask him about anything. Um, so yeah, I have my questions on my phone. I'm going to get them up. And we're going to start with the fun questions. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I'm not wearing any makeup, so this is me all natural, guys. Naturally beautiful. Oh, dang. <laughs> I already know that, though. Just yeah, saying, yeah. just <clears throat> saying. Some of these questions are a little bit... Mm. Like, I thought they'd be a bit more trans-orientated, but they're not. But we do have some. Would you date an American? I would. Of course I would. I, think, I would, yeah. I think Americans are fucking hot. I don't see the problem. No, I don't. I mean, the distance might be an issue. I mean, yeah, the distance, obviously, but... I but mean, obviously, if, if they were in the UK... What's wrong with that, isn't it? Nothing wrong with that. No. I don't care what ethnicity... So I guess or, our answer is yes. Yeah, I don't care where you're from. If you're no. hot and you've got a big dick, then who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Just to I'm point joking, out, guys. I I'm am joking. pansexual. Oh god, yeah. So we should have mentioned that. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, so yeah. You're. I guess you are pan, really. I, yeah. I basically, I, I don't really care about what they have as a person. Yeah. It's the person that I. Yeah. I find attractive. Okay. So next question is what tattoos do you have and what do they mean to you? So we both obviously have tattoos, which you can obviously you've seen in my videos. Tyler's tattoos, however, you can see very clearly. Mm -hmm. Explain. Your yeah. So I'm a bit of a DC comics fan. Um, and I also love Margot Robbie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have my Harley Quinn here. Um, and I also have this right in here that says forget the risk and take the fall if it's what you want it's worth it all now that's always oh, that's meant cute. quite a lot to me yeah um, through the transition and, and whatever even before my transition because that's quite old now mm. um, and then obviously I got my Batman and everything like that um, that's just because I like them nothing sentimental there really um, I have hope here which was my first tattoo which really needs going over to be honest um, but that was for my mum because she had breast cancer when I was 16. Luckily, she's fine now. Um, and I also have... That's one of my faves. My date one. here, which is which is actually... The day we met. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is the day we met. No. Um, this is actually for my lovely Lucy, my lovely Lucy dog. Um, who oh. we unfortunately lost on the 29th of May last year. That's my birthday. You did know that, right? So I May. actually have Becky's 21st birthday date on 20th? Me. Last year? Oh, last year, 20th, sorry. See, <laughs> it is me! I knew it! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, I'm uh, completely shit. <laughs> I also have one on the back of my leg, which I can't actually get to right now, but it's a tiger um, roaring, and it basically symbolises me becoming a man. So becoming That's stronger. Brilliant. I really like that. So my tattoos, um, as you can see, I have, I've, I think I've briefly explained my tattoos before in a very previous video earlier on in my YouTube world. But I have a little Arabic one here. As most of you guys know, I am half Pakistani. So I wanted to like show 
that kind of side of me but that is very trans related that means freedom in arabic which was one of my first and that one's very very special to me and then i do have my sleeve um which you can see which is basically just like roses and like butterflies and stuff my hand one is one of my faves it just looks really fucking hot and then <laughs> yeah so and then i just really like them i think they're really pretty and i yeah i really like them and i guess all my tattoos somehow mean strength mm. and obviously them meaning strength all all has to do with my transition obviously because when you do transition Definitely. you have to be strong as f but all my tattoos have something to Everything, do like yeah. even though they're pretty and i like them like i do i really like my tattoos because they are pretty and i find them you know i really like them um they do always like do have like some kind of meaning towards my transition or something i have a marilyn monroe piece here which i don't think i can like really get up to but it's on my instagram somewhere it's like yeah so i have a marilyn monroe piece here and i just i fucking love marilyn monroe i'm all about yes. the kind of like old hollywood kind of like vintage style i'm really into that i think it's just amazing and marilyn monroe is just like oh she's a queen so i was like yeah i want to get her tattooed and she's like smoking a cigarette as well which i really like <laughs> yeah so i'm like yes yes just like I'll my get harley's that licking her back <laughs> yeah licking her back smoking harley. a cigarette <laughs> yeah so that's our tattoos i do plan on getting a lot more done i would mm. like to but i think right now i just want to you know obviously you need to stay for new york and shit <laughs> anyway next question are you single um yes i'm single there's yes. no yes or no answer to that yeah we're both single we're both single who were your trans role models when you were starting your transitions when i was starting my transition i used to watch this tran um tranel <laughs> 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 I was about to say channel there guys, that's really weird. Um, <laughs> let me rephrase that, when I was actually coming out, I hadn't come out to my mum yet, when I was coming out, I was watching um, Johnny Boy XO. If any of you seen Johnny Boy, he is hilarious, like he's so funny, he, he just used to make me laugh and and obviously with all the trans stuff as well it was just like amazing to watch so um yeah she like gave me so much inspiration and everything and she really helped me like come out and stuff so yeah johnny boy exo was great i don't think i don't think she's around anymore like she, i think she stopped doing youtube and stuff and she's kind of gone very quiet um but yeah she was she was great i didn't really have a role model as such because i um before I knew I was trans, I came out as a lesbian, so I was, I had a lot of friends yeah. that were LGBT and part of the LGBT community. Mm. Um, so I relied mostly on my support rather than um, actually having a role model. Yeah. Um, I will be honest, quite recently, um, I have started looking up to certain drag queens yeah and stuff like that because i really i really do like them i wouldn't be they're one myself but yeah. i just do think that they're very brave they are just what great they do. and they do bring so much entertainment don't oh they? god yeah like, like so much entertainment. mary mac yeah mary mac we went we to pride guys we saw mary mac and she was hilarious um but yeah it was yeah, bristol pride yeah bristol good. pride was great which we obviously went to if you follow me on instagram you would have seen would us know. at Bristol Pride, <laughs> uh, which is so fun. Peppermint from Seasons 9, RuPaul's Drag Race was performing. And it's all of these characters that really give a lot of people strength throughout mm -hmm. any time in your transition or any time of your life, even if you're not transitioning. It's like really, you know, liberating And obviously to good friends like Becky. Oh, of okay, what's next? So do so-called, well, do so-called straight guys flirt with you? Um, yes, because I'm a woman and I'm consider myself a straight so of course the straight men are gonna flirt with me yeah i yeah yeah um like i get a lot of straight men that i don't know like well yeah they're curious do. or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. and they will <clears throat> they will flirt yeah, with you of course. and stuff yeah. so sorry i thought my mum was like watching us <laughs> <laughs> imagine that i'd be like ah hi mum <laughs> yeah this one i got a good couple times this next question was how tall are you guys by the way love you becky ah, love you too so i'm actually 5'8 and how tall are you 5'7 am i taller than you i don't think I, you're, I think I one think of us has this... got this wrong no i'm definitely 5'8 or maybe I'm five seven and a half then. Yeah, I, I think, think I'm pretty much the same as you. Yeah, we are pretty much the same. Yeah, <clears> but I'm definitely five eight. I've been measured, hun. I was Just measured as five seven. Well, I'm probably taller than you then. 
Yeah, so I'm five foot seven. I'm but, like uh, taller than everyone. Even I have actually before. grown an inch. Oh, say, great. <laughs> since, since, no, since transitioning. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, cool. Mm. Have you ever visited Scotland? No, I yes. haven't. And I don't yes. actually plan to. It's beautiful. Yeah, I was dating a really like dickhead Scottish guy, so I don't think I really want to go to Scotland. <laughs> Not <laughs> Sorry, everyone guys. is the same. Yes, I know. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I've been to Scotland. It's my dog. That's your dog, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what you is sent, he on there? You sent it to me. What do you think about cross dressing and cross dressers? I've actually had this question a couple times from a couple people, and my answer has always been, why? You know, why would I think bad of them? Like people have asked me, do you find them offensive? Why would I find cross dressers offensive? I say, no. in, I say in every one of my videos, right? If you're happy, why would your happiness affect me? Because isn't you being happy important anyway so why would i want to ruin that you know i completely agree i think it's cross-dressing to an extent is pretty much like drag queens i well, guess yeah it's just as well so yeah no in in that respect i i each to their own so i think this question's more aimed at you the next okay. one because I've obviously explained this in my videos, so I'm not going to explain it again very shortly because I have like, you know, all my videos explain this. So, um, how did you realise you wanted to be trans? I wouldn't say it's a one. I would yeah. say it's a, a realisation <clears throat> that you are. And that yeah. was probably not until about a month before I came out. Yeah. I mean, I had an inkling because obviously I was a lesbian before. I identified yeah, as a lesbian 100% before. Agree with you. Um, and there are things that now I think back to like my childhood and stuff that where I used to go to sleep and wish that I woke up a boy. Mm. Little things like that. You never you never think anything of it, but then you realise. So you I would do. say so I was twenty one. Yeah. Uh, twenty. Yeah. One. Twenty one. It's so crazy because you just say now mm. I remember when I was like five. <laughs> I've never told this story before, but I remember when I was like five years old and it was like really it's like it was, you know those like really starry nights yeah yeah when it's like you see like so many stars like in the sky and it's like really bright i remember looking at one of the stars and being like i just want to be a girl like i really want to like i just feel like a woman yeah. and i was literally i was still i was obviously like really young but it's like how you felt at such a young age like and then later on in life you really realize who you are it's like oh my yeah. god like i am a woman like oh my god i am trans and then you think back to that time when you were younger like looking at those stars and you're like you're like what because really <laughs> it was crazy. around that age that i had that yeah. as well like yeah i i, I cut my hair twice mm. when i was younger to be short because i wanted to be like one of the boys yeah yeah and little things like that and, and you never really think anything of it yeah until until you actually that day yeah when you realize yeah, yeah. until you actually realize that you're trans and yeah. you actually realize who you really are you really do think back to those times when you were younger because I used to play with dolls, you know, I used to do so many girly things, but obviously cars. I think my mum Yeah <laughs> They were my thing. I think <laughs> my mum just always thought I would probably be gay or something. Yeah. But you know, obviously when I came out as trans it all made sense to my mum as well, as yeah. me, obviously. It all made sense to me too. Um but yeah, you realise these things, you know, when you're older and then you kind of reflect back on it when you're younger, like, oh my God, I remember doing that and feeling this way and it all like adds up and it's it's yeah. so crazy. Do you get what I mean? 100%. Like, yeah. it's, it's so crazy. That was a good question. Yeah, that was a really good question. I have a question for you and okay. that is, only if you're comfortable answering it. Of obviously. course. Okay. So what was your top surgery like and how recently did you have it? Okay, so... I'm currently still off work recovering, but I am recovered. Um, it was fine. It, it went really well. Uh, wasn't too painful, but it was great yeah. from the moment I woke up after the surgery, whether I was high or not. Um, I just I just knew a weight had been lifted, mm -hmm. um, and it was it was five weeks ago. I go back to work next week. Yay. Um, <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, it went really well, and I'm extremely happy with my new chest. Extremely happy. And I'm really mm. happy for you, oh. too, by the way, just so you know. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. When 
did you realize you liked both genders like when you were like pan or okay so that's a very recent thing yeah um because obviously i said like i don't I said think you ever before, told me this actually no, no i don't think you have told probably me not you no yeah. no so this is very recent um since i've transitioned this is probably the last six months so very recent but um obviously like i said before i identified as a lesbian before i transitioned and then i was a straight man mm. um because i was in a relationship at that stage that relationship ended and then um i got a little bit curious and then decided no i, I, I think i am just interested yeah. in women and then this last six months has been a bit of a roller coaster um when it comes to uh sexuality if i'm honest because isn't it always because i've started um just not really caring what someone has for genitals or whatever i just yeah. i just kind of like them for who they are yeah. now and that's so true. yeah i'd say in the last six months i've realized that my question to you was are you fluid or not so um it's really warm now it is really warm now i put my glasses back on um am i fluid and that that is not really like i do generally just go for obviously like straight men like that's just what i go for i literally just go one way and that's a stick i think <laughs> Yeah, I so that's it with the with question. the fluidity. I think I just go for men. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know who's going to come along in my life and whisk me away. I really don't know. But I think generally men is just the way I go. Really. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? <laughs> on camera. We literally um. like just had a really deep conversation <laughs> like, on camera. That's why he's so like in shock right now. We need a gin and tonic, I think. I think we do. Yeah. We <laughs> Yeah. Gin and lemonade. Okay, so I think that's it for the Q&A. Yeah. I don't have any questions left. If you have any questions for me though, hit me up. <laughs> hit me up. I'll leave his Instagram name and I'll leave mine obviously, of course. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please follow me. I do fun things like this on my um, Instagram page. I do leave some comments and stuff and I do yeah ask you guys questions in next video ideas or whatever. So make sure you are following me guys. Um, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I was just in my own little world. Sorry, I was just thinking. Tyler, thank you for coming today. Uh, and that's okay. And Hour and a half down the road just for this. No, <laughs> joking. Thanks for coming today. Thanks yeah. for doing this video. That's right. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And thank you for watching me as well. Yes. If you've enjoyed this video, please like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you all next time in my next video, guys. I love you all so much. I hope you take care and see you soon. Bye. Bye.